Subhas here and in this video I'm going to share with you what the word responsibility means and how to use it to get yourself from mediocre to abundance. And by the end of this video, you're going to learn how you can take the right action to move you towards your ideal life. So please make sure you stick around till the end of this video because you're going to be learning a lot from it. And this tool I'm about to share with you is going to make you happy and blissful. So with that, let's get started. Before I begin this video, I want to quickly announce that the free one-to-one -one consultation with me for the Self Mastery Online program is open. So please make sure you click on the link in the description below to sign up for your free consultation with me. And make sure you comment Self Mastery Online down below for a chance to win my digital book for free every single Saturday. With that, let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to use the term responsibility as a tool and use the three-step process to use it in any situation. Responsibility means the ability to respond, as mentioned by Sadhguru in his book, Inner Engineering. If you enter the house and find that the people's mood in the house is terrible and there is a bad energy around, can you do anything about it? Or are you responsible for it? You are still responsible for that energy. Many actions in the past could have changed the course of today. We cannot change the past, but what we can do is respond to the current situation. If there is an immediate action we can take, one should do so. Sometimes responding means also not responding. What do I mean by that? If another person is angry and responds the usual way, which makes the person angrier, then not responding is responding. You taking active actions not to make the situation worse, this is your responsibility, not other people's. As long as we respond and do not avoid, we are always on the right path. If your son, daughter is angry, sad, you're responsible for it. Only when you make yourself responsible will you do something about it. Else you'll avoid, you react, cause pain for the others, or ask them to shut up, ask them to go to their room. That's the easy way out. My name is Subhas Thapa and I'm an entrepreneur and the author of the book titled From Chain Smoker to Non-Smoker and Five Steps to Quit. Today I will share three-step process with responsibility as a tool. Being responsible for every situation is the best way to live, in my opinion. Science tells us that water has a memory and when we say good things to water, it turns into an amazing crystal-like structure and if we say bad things to it, it turns it into bad water. Why am I giving this example? It is mainly to show that our responses change the physical matter. We all can respond in the right way, which causes harmony and peace to the outer world and ourselves internally. If your son, daughter is angry, upset, your ability to respond to them in the right manner is going to make them either a good person in society or a bad person. Your ability to respond to your spouse will turn the house into a home or a living hell. Your response to your life is going to determine who you are going to become. Your ability to respond is limitless. Once we become aware of ourselves, this word responsibility is very powerful and we can use it as a tool to change our life. When I'm not being responsible, my inability to respond caused more negative thoughts and sabotaged any progress I made so far, kept moving into more negative states and affected all areas of my life. When we don't respond, we avoid. When you feel unworthy, dissatisfied, you try to avoid the situation. For example, if you're not happy at work, you avoid dealing with people and don't take actions that lead you to progress. However, you avoid and you keep taking actions that are comfortable for the current moment. You keep fighting with yourself every single moment, every single day. You come up with excuses to avoid that work and let time pass by to make it till the day. While you successfully avoided the work, you keep fighting with yourself and the dissatisfaction feeling is enhanced, which makes you more unworthy. The downward spiral many people live in every day affects their life in every single area. I was one of those people. When I felt unworthy, unsuccessful in my life, my every single decision was to avoid. If I had the opportunity to meet my friend 
I would avoid it. If any work opportunity came, I would avoid it as avoiding felt good at the moment, which is the easy way out. My mind became attracted to certain gratification. I would avoid house chores to enjoy the lazy feeling. I would avoid showing up as not showing up was easy. I would not talk with my neighbor as that was easy. I would not speak with the cashier as I didn't need to use any energy and continue in my world. I would commit to wake up at a certain time but not follow through. It was all trying to avoid not being responsible. Once I understood the term responsibility, I had an aha moment. My every single decision to avoid was causing me more pain, more dissatisfaction. One avoidance was affecting so many areas of my life. Only when I started responding, my life opened up. This realization was so powerful that it completely shattered my belief system of limitation, unworthy feelings. I started asking myself a question, how can I respond to this situation now? This question completely changed my life. This question was so powerful that my body felt so much at ease. For example, when the alarm goes off in the morning, I respond to my intention rather than avoid. Now I wake up on time. This one act changed my whole day and made it very productive as I didn't start the day trying to avoid something. When I was angry with someone, rather than avoid, I would respond and call them. This act immediately made my whole body happy and it didn't carry the burden of thoughts and thinking constantly. My responsibility is to respond to everything and everyone around me. I could respond to sunrise, breeze, lake, people, pets, children and every single moment. I became powerful in a single moment. My negative thinking subsided immediately and I started working towards my personal growth. I no longer felt defeated and started enjoying the moment and every day I'm enjoying more and more. So now let's get to the steps on how to use responsibility term as a tool in the right way. Step one, be present. The only way to deal with any situation is by being present. If you feel bored, anxious, angry, the first step is to be present and acknowledge the feelings. Only when you are aware of what's happening, you can respond. Step two, don't avoid the situation for the short term fix. Never avoid any situation moving forward so you can get quick gratification. I get it, we're not going to have the willpower to act all the time. However, avoiding the situation to run away from the current situation affects all areas of your life. If there is a traffic jam and you usually shout or get angry or get frustrated, you can accept the situation and not react negatively. Don't think this is just the moment of anger. Always know that it is going to affect later in your life. It will keep on showing up. This reaction will keep on coming back. Reacting is the way to avoid it in some way. Today, accept everything as it is. You can't change it. Let it be. Step 3. You are responsible. No matter what the situation, today you are responsible for that situation. If you say to yourself that you are responsible, you will find the solution to any problem. If you are traveling by bus, train and some baby is crying, if you say to yourself that you are responsible, then you will either say something, smile or do something if the situation is appropriate. If you can't take any action, then you can at least acknowledge in your mind and give your best wishes heartedly. You will respond one way or another. If you are not responsible, you will try to avoid the situation. If you go out for a walk, respond to trees, wind, environment and see if they are trying to tell you something. You can respond to absolutely everything today. If you are about to drink water, respond. Acknowledge this. Acknowledge its existence and the role it plays. Bless it before you drink it. You are responding. You are responding to every single situation today. I hope this helped and I'll be creating more videos on this kind of topic. And if you're new to this channel, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe and hit that little bell so you get notification of any new video that I put out. Also, I would love to know what you think of this video. So please leave me a comment. And also, I'm excited to announce the free one-to-one -one consultation for the Self Mastery Online. 
is open where you get an opportunity to work with me closely so I can help you unblock all areas of your life. And what we do in Self Mastery Online program is we work at the core, at the subconscious level, because where you are in your life right now is a result of who you are. And where you want to get to is you need to become the person that's worthy of it. Using the term responsibility as a tool to respond, everything will make you more aware of your thoughts, your body, and keeps you present to its moment. There are no issues and everything is bliss in current moment. I hope you can use this tool to deal with every single situation and make your life better starting this very moment. Make sure you click on the link in the description below to sign up for your free one-to-one -one consultation and I would love to help you in person. I'm super excited to announce that the free Facebook group is open so you can click the link in the description below to sign up. I will be building a community of great people. With that, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay fearless.